Well, if you've never seen an Indian wedding, there it is. You're seeing part of it right there. But uh, George is not going to be talking about weddings today. He's going to be talking about running, right? Yes. You're not running from a wedding, but running whatever. I'm running You're to running a the Troy Turkey Trot. Turkey Trot. The there we go. Troy and Turkey he's got Trot. a sign on there. And this says 69th, but really that's wrong because it's, it's the 71st. 71st. So tell Old me. clothing. Yeah, and you can wear it costumes. We try to recycle things. Yeah, you can do costumes probably. We do. We have a great costume contest. Um, last year we had um, three, six winners, and uh, Hannaford funds it with prize. Okay, uh, good. Well, with okay. certificate, uh, you know, for a turkey, probably. <laughs> yeah, or whatever you want. <laughs> whatever. But yes, the costume Too late for contest turkeys, is I guess. going yeah. on. That's in the 5K. And, okay. uh, and then we have the only 10K in the area. Okay. And I don't know, I think you have We're a We're going to take a look at some of the photos the, there. Yeah, the course. Yeah, there, there. They, it shows the course. Uh, there it is See, right there. you know why everybody loves this course? Why? Because it's out and back along the river, along no hills. Along the river. Oh, no hills. Oh, no isn't hill. that great? And you can see who's in front of you. Like that Fryhofer's that, run. He used to I have know. a big hill there. Big for, hill. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You can't take the hills out, no. but it's a beautiful run, yeah. and it's been going on since 1916, and it actually started as a as a way to benefit uh, those veterans coming back from World oh, War I. Oh, I did not know that. Yes. Well, I'm learning and something right something? now. Yeah. So, and, and it's continued with that um, that whole uh, uh, giving back well, um, When you have benefits idea. as well. You benefit yeah. a couple of organizations as well. Joseph's House and Shelter is one of the charities. And the Regional uh, Food Bank is the other. Is regional the other. Food yeah. Bank. And then, you know, a lot of people there's don't Joseph's know There's Joseph's House right there. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but there's another uh, 17, 18 not-for-profits that uh, are benefiting from the turkey trot. Oh, and wonderful. They, and they provide volunteers for us, and it, it's really great. This so, is, now, this is the Regional Food Bank right here. Is that it? Yeah, is the that? Regional Food Bank is an incredible organization. I mean, it really took me back when I got involved with Mark Quant. And, yeah, and he group, was on the show. And he I showed think. me around, and, and, he, and he really showed me how... Have you been over? You yes, saw that, yes, an yes. amazing building. But you been? know what I never realized? I, I never realized there was hunger in our area until I went over there and talked to those people. Yeah. And, and I saw the real need for it. Well, and I've, I've said to this, and I've said this, I think, to many people. I go, in the very beginning, I said, well, they get food stamps. I don't get it. They said, well, that only covers a very small portion right. of the month's food. For $5, these people can give a family five meals. Yeah. It's amazing how they stretch. They stretch the food, it. Well, and they, uh, and they get a lot of donations from the big companies. You know, they, they do. change labels and they, do, they, they donate do. that and, food. And, and, and most of that goes out to all of the pantries. Exactly. And all of the Sick shelters. Sick of my nose gets that. that uh, you know, if it wasn't for what the regional food bank does, these pantries and shelters wouldn't have any food. Well, and we'll be, we're going to be talking with Peter Jones in, our, I believe, our next segment. Um, to segue into that, um, and I believe some of that comes from the regional food bank yeah, as well. I mean, yeah. so, so it's really great. Um, and so to have a community event that's been around for, well, this will be the 100, 102nd edition of the event. As I said, it started in 1916. Yeah. Uh, and, and have everybody down there, uh, c you know, having fun being with their family. You know, 90% of the people in this event come from the Capital District. Yeah. And 60, but do you, how many from the other states? 37 states represented. And we don't go out and, and, and recruit those people. No, they're come. visiting their families. They're family. visiting their families on Thanksgiving. So it's really rewarding. And, and, you know, the fact that we have the only 10K in the area, well, if you want to run a 10K, you want to burn a few more calories than doing a 5K, you have to come to Troy. Well, and the thing so is, it's before, it, before the big meal. Oh, it's exactly. a way to get out and to be, I mean, of course, somebody's got to stay home and fix that turkey, I guess. But anyway, you're, you're out there with your family and the kids. I know Greg always used to bring his kids and they'd run in it, you know, and had a good time. It was kind of a tradition. Um, and one of those things uh, that if it becomes a family tradition, people look forward to it, and then they, they look forward to the meal and maybe a, a game afterwards, whatever they do. Well, and you they want to be associated with an event that's doing good in the yeah. community, and that's yeah. why we reach out to the not-for-profit uh, community, and we try to do as much as we can. How the, many the, runners? The How eight thousand. <gasps> eight thousand runners. And Get out! Eight thousand. Who all, counts them? All the well. <laughs> <laughs> they have to register. So when they're all done registering, the race starts. We know how we many know are how there. Many. Wow. 
Wow. You get about, you know, you get between a seven to fifteen percent attrition rate depending on the weather. But um, the participants are the ones that donate additional on top of their entry fee. They donate to the regional food bank yep. and Joseph's House and Shelter. Yeah. And last year we raised um, thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. And this year, this is not a paltry Pioneer song. is one of our sponsors. I saw and, that, and yeah. they got so excited they started our campaign with twenty five hundred dollars. So I think we can do. Um, you know the the participants. I think those donations, and we're already on track to have record donations. Amazing. I think we can do twenty thousand oh this year. God. So it's really yeah, rewarding. Splitting it down the middle. Uh, no, regional food gets a little bit more. A little bit more because yeah. they're they they got such a big. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and we know how, how many people donated to the regional food yeah, bank because yeah. we used to have them split and you'd donate to the one you wanted. Yeah. But now we just have it all in one pot. Yeah, so. yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, George has been on. He used to get really involved with the Fryhoffers run. That's why I kind of mentioned the Fryhoffers. 35 Fry years. Yeah, I know, 35 and years. And you and I. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, we, since you started, I, think so. I was on your show. 20 years, probably. Yeah. And I love it. We have such a good time here. I get to meet the nicest people. I have to say that. I get to meet the nicest people right here on this stage. You have some nice I people. Do. I do, don't I? I'm yes. so lucky. And that segment that you had that first started with that whole European diet, I was sitting up there eating a croissant sandwich. You know, I felt so bad. And now I'm going to call this guy and get that recipe. I've got to start <laughs> going European. Well, no, but it, a diet is so important but to longevity, and it's so important yeah. for energy. You know, you need that. If you're going to go out and run, you're going to exercise, you're going to Don't be Don't they carbo load? Well, before? you can. I mean, this is kind of short to carbo load. That's more on a marathon, <laughs> a 26-mile race. But the point of it is, is you need energy for your body to work well. Yeah. And you need good foods to, for it to work in harmony with itself. Absolutely. And so here I am munching down on, uh, but it, you know. It looked awfully good, It though. was tasty. Yeah, we were trying to get it from him, but he wouldn't give it up. And did, did I ever tell you my friend from China ran 100 marathons in 100 days? That's some consecutive oh, days. I know her. Yes. Him. Lee uh, well, Chu. Well, Lee. I don't know about that one, but this is Jin Fei Bao. Oh, okay. And he's the one that is a friend of ours, but he ran 100 marathons in 100 days. That's unbelievable. In I'm, Kunming, yeah. Boy, I bet he's on the medicine. And he, and he also ran one, or seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. Yeah, that's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's trying to break records. How do you get energy like that? I don't know, but he said he lost 20 pounds halfway through the 100-100. Um, the yeah, know. well, you know our bodies are 70% water. Yeah, yeah. And, Drink you know, plenty of water. That's, that's good. But you are into exercising, and yes, nutrition is so important. I agree with you totally on that. Well, we put on a 10-week program for those people who want to learn how to yeah, run. Yeah. And actually, we have three levels, beginner, intermediate, Well, you have the, the Fryhofer uh, Challenge. Training too. Challenge. Yeah, that training we have that, but we also have the Troy Turkey Trot Oh, I didn't challenge. know that. We started one in Troy. Well, good. And we have 50 people signed up for good, it. Good, good. So, thing. yeah, so it's very important to, you know, Know, tell, uh, give that message. So uh, I really we, feel, it, it, feel good is, about this. Uh, being healthy is a two-prong. It has two it things that you have to look at: diet and, and movement and regular uh, exercise. And I say movement yes. because it may not be running a marathon, but That's it so may true. be just keep active. Right? It is just yeah. keep active. So and you're an active man. I try to. Yeah, good. I George. can't keep up with you though. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to have George on the show. And Thank please, you so if you're much. looking for something to do and to give a little bit back to your community, check out the Troy Turkey Trot. You'll have a good time. Bring the family and just make it an event before and leave someone home to fix a turkey, unless you want to go out to eat. I'm oh, sure. you'll be out of there by 10 o'clock. By 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. do the 10K. Yeah, if so. you do the 5K, you'll be out of there by 11. Plenty and you'll of time. be in time to get home and That's smell right. that turkey. And you've done something with your family. Yeah. How great is that? How great is that? And and burn some calories. I like that part. Have an extra piece of that pumpkin pie. <laughs> Two pieces of pumpkin pie. Yeah, with whipped cream. <laughs> and you won't feel guilty at no. all. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to be talking more about food because we're going to be talking with Peter Jones next, and we're going to be talking about concern for the hungry and what he's doing to get some meals on the table. 10,000 meals. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Stay tuned.